One of the biggest questions out there for Cardinal fans as well as non-Cardinal fans is when is our franchise quarterback Kyler Murray coming back? Now we finally got some updates from Jonathan Gannon, our head coach, and Monty Austin for our general manager. And there might be a light at the end of the tunnel. Let's dive right into it. What's going on everybody? Welcome back into another video. Definitely do me a huge favor. Smack the like button on this video and subscribe for more Arizona Cardinals content. Make sure you follow me on all my social platforms. Everything will be in the description below. First, a word from our sponsor, the Arizona Sports Fan and FOCO has partnered together to get you guys the best deal we possibly can and save money on your Arizona Cardinals merchandise. If you haven't heard of FOCO, basically it's a website that is licensed through the NFL that gives you anything Arizona Cardinal merchandise. If you're looking for glasses, some apparel, some shoes, Anything Arizona Cardinals, you're able to get it here on this website. Now, here's the thing. You don't have to be an Arizona Cardinal fan because right now you can use my promo code AZSPORTS, all in caps, at checkout, and you can get yourself 10% off. Now, please keep in mind that there is some items on this website that do not qualify with my promo code, but you will be able to go ahead and find the most of the items on there. You will be able to use my promo code, and that goes for all the NFL teams out there, right? If you're not an Arizona Cardinal fan, no worries. I got your back. Use promo code Arizona Sports today and get yourself a discount off your latest NFL merch. All right, everybody, let's dive right into it. Let's talk about the latest updates from Kyler Murray, from our general manager, Monty Austin, for as well as our head coach, Jonathan Gannon. Now, there was two separate interviews that happened today. Obviously, Jonathan Gannon spoke to the media today, and then Monty Austin, for our general manager, spoke to our local radio station, 98.7, which is going to be the clip that we're going to be listening to a little later on. Now, obviously, Kyler Murray has been a very, very big topic as of late because he ended up posting something here on his TikTok, his social media, basically giving us an insight on how he's doing on his rehab, right? Now, he also went ahead and made sure he had some sort of posts on there that was basically saying really good things about people that had his back. Um, and then at the end of the video, he ended up putting soon. So it got a lot of Cardinal fans very, very excited about a possible return for Kyler Murray. Now, in the beginning of this season, the Arizona Cardinals did put him on the PUP list, which limits him from playing the first four games of the 2023 season. Now, as of right now, while we're recording this video, there is two weeks left for the timeline on when Kyler Murray should be coming back or coming off the PUP list. We did get some comments today from Jonathan Gannon about the timeline and what he really feels like is appropriate for Kyler Murray to come back, as well as Monty Austin Fort. Let's dive right into what Jonathan Gannon had to say. He's, he's doing well, and, um, you know, he we know the timetable of when, you know, he can return to play, but that doesn't mean that he's going to return to play and open his window then. But um, we'll get him going when he's physically and mentally ready to play, and knowing that it's going to take him some time and some weeks of practice to get comfortable with what he's doing. So um, I'm not in a hurry with that. Um, love to have him out there. He's itching to be back, but um, we'll take that one day at a time. Obviously, Jonathan Gannon is coming from a place of he wants to make sure that Kyler Murray is fully healthy, right? He wants to make sure that when he does come back, he is a full go and he needs to get his best interest, which is Kyler Murray's best interest in coming back. He needs to get it cleared through the trainers as well as uh, the idea of making sure he knows this playbook. Because if you really think about it, yes, Kyler Murray is set to come back in week five, which is going to be versus the Bengals. That doesn't mean Kyler Murray is going to be playing in week five per Jonathan Gannon, right? He still wants him to learn the playbook, get those reps um, and, and make sure he actually knows everything fundamentally so I think it is actually very important here for Kyler Murray to know all those things as well but it's obvious to me that Kyler Murray wants to come back sooner than, than later there was a report that came out that said that Kyler Murray didn't even want to be put on the IR list heading into the season which I'm on board with because obviously the training staff knows a little bit more about this injury and they want to make sure that they have Kyler Murray's best interest you know, forward more than anything. And obviously, Kyler Murray is a competitor. He's a player. He wants to really kind of go out there and put his best efforts and start playing automatically. But sometimes you need to kind of hold that player back and do what's best for him. Although Jonathan Gannon does sound optimistic about Kyler Murray and a possible return sometime in the future, he does have the head coach mentality, right? Where it's the, I'm not going to show my my cards yet, right? And I think that whole competitive advantage thing, he still has that behind his mind because if you really think about it, heading into week one when we had Joshua Dobbs and Clayton Toon, he didn't want to show his cards, right? He didn't want to let anybody know who's going to be our QB1, which was kind of a little weird because it's not like we had two big names out there that we needed to pick from, right? We had Joshua Dobbs and Clayton Toon, but it really takes you into the mind of Jonathan Gannon, right? As a head coach, he wants to get all the competitive advantage he possibly can. So in this specific situation, I do believe that he 
knows that Kyler Murray wants to come back. He's itching at the bit. He wants to come back on the field and play with his guys. But I think as of right now, he's saying all the right things. And as of right now, it's kind of TBD per Jonathan Gannon. Now let's go and dive right into what Monty Austin Fort had to say. Now, this clip does come from 98.7, our local radio station. So definitely big shout out to them. Tell us about Kyler's progress right now. Yeah, Kyler continues to uh, make progress every day, and we're we're excited with where he's at and where he's uh, where he's going and where what we see this going forward as. You know, uh, I, I joked with him the other day, and somebody somebody showed me that video, and uh, I said, "You think you think uh, think people get excited? They I posted videos of me working out outside. You know, and I don't think I don't think that's what the public's working for." And he agreed. He didn't think that would get uh, get too many views, but um, you know, Kyler, he again, the guy is just he's working his tail off, and and what he's put putting in the time he's putting in both in the classroom and, and out on the uh, the rehab and the prime, the things that he can do to get himself ready. We're excited about that progress and, and you know, we look forward to that time when we can we get him back out there to practice and, and get him ready to play. Yes, yeah, speaking well, that clip here from Monty Austin Fort, to me in my eyes, he seems a little bit more optimistic and really wants to get Kyler Murray back out on the field. Now, obviously, he went ahead and, and had this banter with Kyler Murray back and forth about him not being able to get the, the same amount of views with his workout video, and that's probably right right Kyler Murray is our franchise quarterback as of right now and there's a lot of people that are really curious to figure out when he's coming back but to me Monty also for really does feel or at least he sounds very optimistic he's very very happy with what exactly he's doing with the things that he's limited and, and being able to do right learning the playbook uh, and everything that he has but another question was also asked with the same idea of when is he when does Monty also for think he's coming back right that's what the radio station um, host ended up asking him when does he feel like Kyler Murray is ready to come back after the four weeks. Went ahead and provided exactly the same information that Jonathan Gannon ended up saying as well with the idea of just because he's coming back or, or maybe going to be removed off the PUP list after week four, they still want to make sure that he knows the playbook, has those reps, uh, and, and is going to be able to to give the Arizona Cardinals a full 100% go effort. Obviously, Monty also for, as well as Jonathan Gannon, both want Kyler Murray back on the field. To me, it does feel like the best possibility. It seems like the best way for Kyler Murray to actually play this year because we need to do a lot of evaluating, right? We need to make sure to find out if Kyler Murray is going to be the future, right? As of today, right now while we're recording this video, Kyler Murray is quarterback one. There's so much speculation out there, even within the Cardinal fans that want to move off and get a brand new quarterback. And I think this year is absolutely crucial. And I do believe that the Arizona Cardinals need to play Kyler Murray to make sure they evaluate him, right? Not just the Arizona Cardinal fans that are watching and want to see him back on the field, but they need to do evaluating this year as well. They need to figure out if this is their guy for the future. And if it is, great, because that just means we don't have to worry about a quarterback position moving forward. But that is one of the most important parts to me as an Arizona Cardinal fan. I need this Arizona Cardinal organization to really evaluate Kyler Murray to figure out if he's going to be the future uh, moving forward. Let me know what your guys' thoughts here on Kyler Murray. Do you think he's coming back after week five? Do you think he's going to be removed off the PUP list after week four? Do you think we're even going to see Kyler Murray in the 2023 season? Let me know here in the comments below. I appreciate you guys for tuning in as always. Have a great rest of your day and go Cards.